edge mode, double click that. And then shift right click, extrude edge. Just press W, pull it out. Shit. Turn off object X. Then I can pull it out. Right. Make sure to turn off the object X. Because I then I can still pull it out. Yeah. Okay. And pull it up to here. Something like that maybe. Yeah. Then after I do that, right click vertex mode. I'm gonna grab this. And then, uh, and then you know, let me also. I'm gonna turn uh, symmetry back on again, so I can do the other side. Anyway, verge vertices, verge to center. For those, look on the flip side. Grab these. Press G and George to repeat the last command. Boom. All right, so I got the webbing, all right, to separate the digits and then it terminates after the second row to give it some uh, space. All right. And then from there, go to edge mode, double click that. I'm gonna do another incremental save. And, um, Shift right click, extrude edge, turn off symmetry because it does stupid stuff. Alright, turn off symmetry now, pull it out. Alright, again, all I did was just pull this out. Press W to get out of it. And that's, here's the claw. But uh, I need to make it chunky, right? Uh, but first, before I do anything, go to vertex mode, press four. I'm gonna select all these vertices, and then I'm gonna bring it forward a bit because this divider is basically like a buffer between the fist and the uh, digits, right? And this is that divider. I'm going to bring it up a little bit, much, much closer up to here. I'm in vertex mode. Right click, go back to object mode. Select it. And then... I'm going to delete history. Shift Alt D as in David. Then I'm going to do another incremental save. Control Alt S. Alright. Then right click vertex mode. Press 4. Grab all these vertices down here, press 5, and I'm going to bring it forward a bit, like up to here, yeah, this, this roll, see, okay, now I want to puff this up, so I'm going to go and, uh, Right click edge mode, double click. Mm. You know, first go back to object mode. I want to turn off these dots, they're annoying me right now. Display, polygon, face centers, turn off. I can press 3, select the press 3 for shape uh, smooth mode. Right click. Go to edge. I'm gonna select that. I'm just gonna puff it up. Select that edge. Puff that up. Select this edge. And 
right click to go to face mode select that face and I want this to update so I'm going to turn on object X symmetry I'm going to try to see if, what if I pull this out slightly before after press 1 so you can see what it looks like in low poly press 3 all right next um then go to edge mode i'm gonna grab this edge i'm gonna puff that out a bit press one grab that i'm gonna scale that out like that before after grabbing that so it kind of fattens it up a bit go to vertex mode i want to fatten this up a bit pulling out this way or it's okay and then after that maybe i'll grab all of these from behind and i'll scale it in again just I can press R and oh no 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 grab it press W and pull like that right 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 W all right so that part is done probably need another edge loop here right, right here shift right click uh, insert edge loop option box press reset to get rid of that previous setting close it and I'm gonna click here maybe right around here right around here press W then I'm gonna click out of symmetry All right click out of symmetry double click uh, double click here again I press R. I'm just gonna press three, All right? And I'm gonna pull from the center, All right? The center. Then I'm going to. Now I see some of this. So I'm going to turn symmetry back on, so I grab the other side, All right. and then I'm going to pull this out a bit, so it rounds out, see, but it's causing some banding, see, harsh angle over here so that's because it's just too too close I believe so if I double click this edge loop press 3 right this edge loop if I pull pull it back some more before after just a little bit it should help loosen it up a bit all right anyway so that part is done so uh, that um, next, uh, go to edge mode. Right, select this edge, yank on it. Right. Then I'm gonna select this edge. I'm gonna yank on it, yank on it up. Then I'm gonna go right click vertex mode grab this vertex I will end up selecting that vertex as well because I still have a uh, symmetry back on pull on it pull it up up like that press and then I'm gonna pull it out like this press 3 so you can see it there it softens it up the spacing and levels it out all right so that's basically how it's made that's like that's 30 minutes already jeez and then if I want I can make a thumb 
over here. So what I could go is display polygons face centers again and then I can grab my claw 2 right here it is and then I'll make a copy of it control you know let me grab claw 3 and then control D as in David it turns it makes a claw 4 jank it out Then after that, I'm going to select this, right click face mode, select this face and this face. I need to um, turn off symmetry. After I turn off symmetry, right, and, oh, right click, go back to edge mode. After turning off symmetry, symmetry is off. I'm just gonna select this edge right here, right? Here's my front, here's my left, right? Select this edge. Just press backspace. Just backspace. Now the middle of the face it moved up slightly. Anyway, then I'm gonna select this um, the curve, right? Make sure it's right right on top of it, right? If not, press D as in David and just snap it while holding V as in Victor. But it should be right there. I'm gonna hold V as in Victor while I my move move tool. Snap it there. Press E as in Edward. I'm gonna use this rotational axis. Pull it out. And then after that, oh, right, 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 wait, wait, let me undo that. I'm going to put it back here. Good, good, totally forgot. I'm going to select this face now after I delete that edge, right, select that face. Hmm. Wait one second. What happens if I just do that? Alright. And then after that I'll go and do this. Right, 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 right. And then I can grab that and pull that. And then I can grab that and that and do that. And then this should be okay. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. So I'm gonna select this face, right? This is this edge right here still deleted. Shift right click, extrude face, make sure that symmetry is off. Right? From there, I'm gonna just pull out ever so slightly. After I pull out, I'm gonna pull on this cube down here. I'm gonna pull in a bit. So it tapers in, down like that, sloping down. Then I'm gonna pull on this red, this red cube. I'm just gonna pull in like that. Okay, good. Then I'm gonna just click outside. Once that's done. Go, go into object mode, select it, right, so you can see. I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to hold V as in Victor, and I'm going to snap it there. Mm. Undo that. I'm going to grab this, right, I'm going to do one more extrusion. And pull it out. Yeah. Then I'm gonna squeeze the scale, that scale, some more. I'm gonna squeeze this red scale cube some more. Right. Then I'm gonna pull on this 
arrow like that. Then I'm going to click on this circle. Turns into a, a rotation gizmo. I'm going to pull up, I'm going to turn on this red axis. Right, again, that's this red axis. Then I'm gonna carefully pull on the green arrow that will pull on the green fucker won't let me out. Huh? Alright, just press W. Then pull down a bit. Pull down some more. Grab the red arrow, pull in, pull down. Good. Alright. So now I'm set up for everything. Press three. Yeah 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 yeah. Good good good. Now now I'm ready. I'm gonna grab the curve, hold D as a vector, snap it there, right click, uh, press E as an Edward, pull it out this way, and pull it down this way, right? Again, pull it, pull it like this, right here, that axis. Then I'm gonna kind of pull down like that. Yeah. Then I'm gonna pull on the blue axis right I'm gonna just pull it like this so slightly ever so slightly going down like that then I'm gonna select the murder mitten I'm gonna delete history shift alt D as in David do an incremental save control alt S I'm gonna right click go to face mode select this face shift select the curve then I'm going to shift right click, extrude face. Then I'm going to set my divisions to 5. This is okay. I'm going to go on to uh, taper, put point 0.1. Point 0.1. Hey, why is it doing this? What the hell? Do it was doing working so fine. Why is it doing this now? Maybe it's because of this. It could be because of this. I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna select that. And then I'm gonna go shift right click, shift right click over the mesh, delete edge. Alright, maybe that might help. Right click face mode, select this face. Right. Select the curve again. Hold D as in Victor, snap it. Select this, right click face mode, select that face. Shift select the curve. Alright, make sure the curve is snapped to the face. Shift right click, extrude face. Okay. Set the divisions to 5, taper to 0.1, good, 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 good. Taper to 0.1. And then local translate. I can pull out the local translate a bit. Yeah, yeah local translate, that's a bit. Offset, no, no offset thickness. Alright, so I messed with the local translate and divisions. So I set the divisions to five. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I gotta leave it like that. So that's how you do the um, uh, claw. 
right? This isn't the best looking, but it, you know, it gives you ideas as to what to do. I can grab that and just delete the edge. Right, this part here, I've deleted that. Grab that. Press G to repeat the last command, delete the edge. This one here. So, so you can see that it's cleaning up. Right. I can grab this. I can delete that edge. That's nice. Right. Again, I grab this edge that's pushing out like that. And I can just delete the edge. And that helps clean it up a lot. This is kind of floppy, but I can fix that later. Anyway, so that's how to uh, make the claw. And uh, I think I'll make another video tutorial to carry on from here. But uh, that's it for now. Bye.